Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we are going to be continuing on today with this random roulette team that we kicked off with at the start of the week. Thanks to your good nominations, as always. And talking about nominations, if you go over to our community section of the channel, there is a post there right now asking you for nominations for next week's picks on the roulette wheel. And it probably will be the last week in this series before we get back to concentrating on more. Serious competitive Pokemon in our daily battle series, a school of hard knocks that we, we normally are known for on the channel. So that is all dependent on the rules being released this weekend at the World Championship. So it will depend on that. And I will obviously let you know next week if it will be the last week or if we'll continue on for one additional week, which we might do. But regardless if we do or not, it's been a lot of fun. And I hope you are all enjoying things so far. So today is Wednesday. It is the day that we can activate those four bonus buttons that we have access to with the uh, Legend Maker. Uh, Randomize the switch up and our Patreon button, but like I said in yesterday's episode, because of the team and how well we've been doing, and I am claiming that victory from yesterday, so we're sitting on four wins, one loss, which is phenomenal for the team uh, in a roulette series. Anyway, um, it's been going really well. I'm going to actually not change anything up. I don't feel like changing anything yet. There's still lots of features of the team that I think we can we can definitely have a look at. Shininja is definitely one of those Pokemon that we haven't featured so far um, this week. So it'd be nice to see a little bit of action from Shininja. Even though I've said that, and it's not the most favoured Pokemon by a lot po by a lot of players, but it's it's still a good Pokemon, um, especially in, the, in a restricted format, as we've seen it do well so many times this season. But without further ado, let's hop into it today. Let's hopefully continue on this this good run that we've had going for us. And uh, as always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, my friends. As we hop over screens and uh, do do leave a like on the video it really does help the channel out a lot it helps the videos out it helps me out it helps the community out a lot and um, do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and uh, as always leave your comments down below i uh, love hearing from you all all the time we got tristan up as our first opponent oh <laughs> full pokemon confident tristan not worried about anything else so we'll get into team preview this one be a bit quick so we've got tapu coco Thunderous, Incarnate, Mewtwo, and Palkia. I would say it's probably Mega Mewtwo, because um, there's no other Mega options on the team. Tristan, the man, he doesn't need any other Pokemon. Uh, Tailwind, it's going to be tricky to get off because of the priority taunt on that Thunderous uh, with the Prankster ability there. Does my opponent have a way to hit Shininja? I don't think they do. So this is definitely one for Shininja. I definitely feel like Zekrom's a good pick here as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring Zekrom up front. We have to worry about Coco Z move, of course. Um, I'm going to bring Shininja. I'm going to bring Sogaleo. And I'm going to bring uh, Murkrow. Because I think if we can get rid of that Thunderous early on, then Murkrow could be good late game to get a late uh, Tailwind up to kind of support everything else. And... Murkrow is generally quite good against Mewtwo. It's not bad against Parkier either. So, um, yeah, we'll go with that. Poor Tristan. Making him wait all this time. He doesn't really have much option with the team selection screen there. He's got just the leads to sort out. And then he's clicking in. So he's probably sitting there thinking, come on, come on, come on. Click in. But we're ready to go. So um, we'll see what Tristan is going to bring out us with these four Pokemon. It's not often you see teams with just four Pokemon, and it normally indicates that someone's testing something to see. Let's see what we can get to make up those last two, and it's always a good way to go around it. Um, just play with four if you've got a core of four, and then play on, on Showdown, on Battle Spot, whatever you want, whatever your preferred format is, and then uh, see what the weaknesses are and patch them with those last two slots. So we're going to see Mewtwo and Thunderous come out for my opponent. Um, mm, do we just do we fusion bolt? We fusion bolt the Mewtwo. I mean, they've got no way to hit the Shininja. Um, so one of the things we could do is just we could ally switch. It would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Fusion bolt the Mewtwo and just go for a cheeky ally switch might be a nice option to do because I think they're not going to target the Shininja unless they've got uh, Shadow Ball on the Mewtwo, which they potentially could have. But uh, Zekrom will be able to say that pretty nicely. So there's the Aurora Sphere. It doesn't actually affect the Shininja and uh, Crunch into Zekrom. So good job that we, we went for that uh, ally switch there. We get a free Fusion Bolt off into the Mewtwo though, which is, which is very nice. And we do know that that Thunderous has access to Crunch now. But we're going to be able to pick up the Mewtwo this next turn. 
um, with a fusion bolt but maybe it's a good idea to go after the thunderous now with a uh, I'm gonna go fusion bolt into the thunderous here I'm not gonna ally switch this turn I'm gonna play the mind games like we always like to do just protection ninja here uh, we might see crunch into that slot my opponent might just see through that we're gonna see shadow ball here it's into thunderous though attacking themselves there's a crunch into that slot and we are gonna get a free th <laughs> Mewtwo taking down its own thunderous here just for the shenanigans sheer heck of it so Maybe we are able to pick up the Thunderous, which we are here with Zekrom, uh, giving ourselves a nice hand up and uh, taking away that one option I feel that my opponent does have to deal with that Shininja, although they do have Shadow Ball on the Mewtwo, which will be able to hit it for super effective damage. Uh, and we are going to see Parkia hit the field now, so mm, got to be careful around the, the Spatial Rent here, for sure. Um, I really want to drop a Draco. Big shout out to Joy. For that one um on the palkia but do we ally switch that's the thing do we get caught out by it um i would say my opponent probably thinks we are going to ally switch i'm going to shadow sneak and i'm going to go for do we go for the draco do we call it do we say that we're going to ally switch i feel like my opponent thinks we're going to ally switch i'm going to just go for the draco into the palkia i'm not going to ally switch here just go over the mind games shadow sneak's probably not going to take down the me too i'll be surprised if it does yeah it's not going to Side strike. Okay. Oh, we're faster than. Oh no, we missed the Palkia! <laughs> oh, come on! And it actually targets us. Oh, come on. Takes down a poor Zekrom. A Draco let us down. Big style. Um. Okay, well, I mean, we've got the Shadow. Like, yeah, we're fine now, aren't we? We can bring in Mercro. We're definitely gonna. Th I, I definitely think the park here is a trick room variant, so we want to try and shut that down now. Um, we'll shadow sneak the, the me too, pick up the knockout there, um, and we'll taunt the park here, because we don't want the trick room being set up. Um, especially when we've got Sogaleo on the back to come in, and we want to try and <coughs> have that come in, in in good form, physical form to hit everything. First, but I think with taking the Mewtwo down, this seals the game up for Shininja to kind of steal this one for us. So, like I said at the start, we hadn't seen much of Shininja this episode, but it's going to be able to do a nice bit of work in this game for us. So, special rend into Murkrow, that Eviolite coming in handy there, taking that pretty comfortably, taking us down to 50% health. Uh, we can tear when this next turn if we would like to, because uh, yeah, it might be worth doing, especially with the type of Coco coming in for my opponent. Uh, Tailwind and Shadow Sneak. Yeah, Shadow Sneak the Coco. I'm more worried about the Coco at this point than anything else. And yeah, we'll Tailwind with Murkrow. Although, like, thinking about that taunt now, it probably doesn't make much sense that my opponent goes for the Trick Room, but it kind of deters me from Tailwinding, knowing that the Trick Room could potentially be there, and knowing that the Palkia is slower than our Zekrom. Makes sense that it, uh, yeah, uh, Wild Charge into Wonder Guard. Predicting maybe an ally switch there in Roar Sphere. Uh, it's going to be into our Mecrom. Is this going to pick up the knockout? No. No. So we'll get another another turn. Uh, we'll just go for another Shadow Sneak into the Coco. We'll go for a foul play this time into that Palkia. Um, and if we lose Mercron now, it does mean that Sogaleo can come in and do some work. But like I say, I don't think my opponent's got a way to deal with the, um, the Shin Ninja now. Um, I don't think. Yeah, the, ooh, agility tackle Coco, nice, nice. Coco going up to 300 speed stat now. Aqua Tail coming out into the Wonder Guard, not going to do very much, but um, the taunt does wear off. So we'll get another turn to taunt this park here, uh, which I'm going to take the opportunity to, because I do feel, uh, well, even though the tackle Coco is gone for <clears throat> um, the agility, the trick room's really not very likely, I don't think, at this stage anyway, so. And Shadow Sneak's gonna get the jump on Coco, whatever. So the next Shadow Sneak should get the Coco. Electro Ball coming out will be enough to get the Murkrow here. And Pakia not gonna be able to do anything to our Wonder Guard Shininja, which uh, should seal up our first game for us today. But I mean, we don't really need it too much now because Sogaleo can come in. Um, and ooh, what's gonna be best here, really, to go for? Uh, Sunseal Strike probably going to be the strongest like I don't really want to take the drops from superpower so um we'll just send steel strike it's not going to be super effective by any means but we know Aurora Sphere um and 
Spatial Rend and Aquatail are what's on the park here, so it's not going to be like threatening a knockout by any means onto Sogaleo here. We do pick up the Tapu Koko finally with Ash Ninja, since your strike coming out into the Palkia. Has it got a berry though? That makes it a bit more difficult. It just drags it out a bit more, doesn't it? Um, we'll see. We might see the forfeit. May not though as well. Uh, do nice damage, so we'll definitely get it the next turn. Hydro Pump as well, so no trick room there on the park here. A big, big, big Hydro Pump there, and um, yeah, no no worries about a berry at all. So we'll just Shadow Sneak, and we'll get the knockout with the Sunseer Strike, if the Shadow Sneak doesn't pick up the knockout here. Um, yeah, I don't think Shadow Sneak's going to get it from this range. Oh, it does! Ah, oh, Sheninja, so strong! So good game to my opponent, and a nice one to kick us off with today. So, five wins, unheard of, one loss. Can we make it 6-1 going into halfway through the week? That means that we probably, yeah, 6-1 with four games left. Can't finish negative if we win the next one. <laughs> so it's going to be good. Unless we play like extra games like we did last week and it comes back to bite us in the butt. Pretty hard like it did on Friday. It was heartbreaking. But um, we'll continue on as we'll always do in this series. And, oh, we've got to do this. We've got to do it. With this next win, if we get it, we are going to be back over 1,500 for the first time, I think, in this entire series. Can we do it? I'm excited. I'm like, for the, like, I'm excited that we can actually do this. We can get over 1,500. Like the last time we were over it, it didn't really count because we were streaming midweek and it bumped us up because we were running a solid team. We were running Urine's team on stream, so we we had all those wins, got right back in the the mix of things. This could be the, 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 the actual, the, the authentic result that we were looking for here today uh, to take us over the 1500 mark. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find the next opponent. Um, I'm just going to cut right now and we'll come back when we do bump into them. And we've got our next opponent of the episode. We've got King1515 rating player and playing quite, yeah, it looks like a nice team. Let's get into it. So King playing a team of Zekrom, Kyogre, Whimsicott, Tapu Koko, Salamence and Gengar. We've got two potential Megas on his team here between that Salamence and the Gengar. Then you've got the Tapu Koko uh, for the terrain support to support that Zekrom. Got the Tailwind support, uh, speed control from the Whimsicott also on that Salamence and then the Kyogre which is probably going to be Primal Kyogre here. Now. Does my opponent have anything? Uh, mm, yeah, one, like the Megas. If we can get rid of the Megas then I think Shininja has a really easy time. So Shininja is another Pokemon I want to try and bring here potentially to help us out against this potential uh, team. Because uh, once Gengar and Salamence are gone, then it, it does free up the um, the Shininja to kind of do some decent work at least. Uh, so I will bring it in the back potentially though, I think, over anything else. It's a nice switch into Kyogre at the very least. Um... What else do I want to bring? Do I want to bring PZ? PZ is not a bad option to bring up the top. But then the Gengar does cause us a few issues. So it might be better off bringing something like Zekrom here. Then Shininja in the back. Um, and Sogaleo. Sogaleo is not bad here to be honest. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, that's going to be my fall. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go, friends. And if we get a win here, I'm not changing the team tomorrow. There's going to be no activation of buttons at all tomorrow. So we'll see. And even if we do lose this one, I still would be hesitant whether I want to activate any buttons or not. Let me know in the comment section. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are. If you want to see buttons activated, if you don't want to see buttons activated, uh, it would be, be really good to hear. We're going to see Salamence and the Whimsicott come out for my opponent. And that's... Uh, Horrible shiny salamence. I'm really not a fan of shiny salamence. Looks so much better in that nice blue colour. But it's just personal preference. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that do like like salamence here. Um, so Terravolt activating. We could Draco Meteor the salamence straight up if we wanted to. Um, in Tailwind with our Mercroar at least then. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do dark type. We can't be taunted by the the whimsicott. Um, yeah, and I think the only thing we have to fear here is if the Salamence has Draco Meteor of its own. You potentially could. We're not gonna see any switches. Uh, I think if we were like to the type of cock, it could be the worst one. Um, and we'll get the Tailwind up with our Mercroar. What are we gonna see this whimsicott go for? We're gonna see a double up, Moonblast. 
Where are you going? Into Zekrom? Ooh, into Murkrow. No! Okay, we get a Tailwind up, it's fine. Um, although... Oh, no! That's the one thing we didn't want to see. That's terrible for us. That's terrible for us. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to bring in Sogaleo now. Sorry, my phone keeps beeping. It's, um, I'm getting a call. It's my mum. She doesn't realize I'm recording right now. Mum, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Stop ringing me. I can't turn it off. Um, all right, so. I will taunt the Whimsicott because I feel like we need to try and, and shut that thing down. Uh, hopefully we can taunt it before it can do anything to us. Uh, and I'll go for a Sunsteel Strike into the Salamence. Ah, uh, Salamence, ha like they do occasionally have Draco Meter in this format yeah, to deal with things like Rayquaza. Um, okay, we're going to see Zekron come in. I don't mind this too much, um, like really at all. There's a taunt, so at least we're going to be able to shut down this Whimsicott. It's not going to be able to get its tailwind up. Yeah, it's going for it, so that's fine. Uh, it can only throw out Moonblast, which... It does threaten Milkrow, 100%. Um, but a foul play should be able to get the Zekrom, I think, after a Sunsteel Sp um, Probably not, no. But we can Earthquake. We can Earthquake and foul play. Um, and that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to foul play, um, and I'm going to Earthquake. Because then we break a potential Sash on the Whimsicott. If it stays in. Uh, Milkrow is obviously a flying type. Whimsicott can take down Murkrow as well. Uh, that's a big thing. But I want to be able to take down uh, the Zekrom here. That's the big thing. That's the most important thing for us. So we've got to try and take down the Zekrom if we can. Yeah, which gets some nice damage onto it. Damage onto the Wimmy. There's a foul play. This will take down the Zekrom. Get rid of that threat. Now we'll probably lose Murkrow to a Moonblast. I would imagine here from the Whimsicott. Fine, so we get rid of Murkrow. It's done a decent amount of work. And then we've got, what have we got in the back? PZ? No, Shininja. Oh, okay. Things just got better, except that the the Salamence is pretty tricky to deal with. So we need to, yeah, we need to deal with the Salamence. Post haste. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's gonna go probably Hyper Voice, I reckon. We could Toxic the Salamence, makes it a bit easier, Sunsteel Strike. I wanna get rid of the Whimsicott, like, as soon as possible, because I don't want it, that taunt wearing off and it getting access to Tailwind, because potentially Kyogre's in the back, right? And if that thing comes in with a Tailwind behind it, uh, then it's gonna be very difficult. Um, it's probably, like, at the same time, you're thinking, well, get rid of the Salamence, because it's the thing that does threaten Shininja, but we do have Wide guard that we can utilize with Shininja as well, uh, with, with our Sogaleo. So, uh, if it's only got Hyper Voice to uh, to utilize, maybe it has, maybe it hasn't got Double Edge, maybe it's got Draco Meteor, Hyper Voice, uh, Tailwind Protect could be its set, I don't know. Uh, it has got the Hyper Voice here. It's going to take us down to our Sash with uh, Shininja. Not going to do very much to our Sogaleo though, that's a big thing for us. We have Toxic. Toxic it as well. So, uh, the Wide Guard support will help like immensely against this this Kyogre that I'm kind of suspecting coming in now. Um, Kyogre. Okay, so we can toxic the Kyogre. Oh my god, I think that's not a bad thing. Like one of the things we could see is potentially my opponent going Tailwind. Um, yeah. Tailwind protect Kyogre, potentially. I wonder if we can win just by wide guard toxic stall. That would be an impressive way to win. Uh, but we will throw out a wide guard now. Uh, my opponent's locked in pretty quickly. So there's a wide guard from ourselves. I'm going to see. Hyper voice. Yep. Water spout. Yep. Okay. Oh, come on. We needed that to hit. We really did. Like, just to start the clock, like, ticking down. We really needed that to kind of tick in. We did, uh, 100%. I'm going to protect Shininja. 
Because the thing is, if once we get rid of the Salamence, you've got to think the Salamence is gone, then the Kyogre cannot beat the Shininja. So the Salamence is like the key to this game for us. We get rid of that, we win this game. Doesn't matter what what, what happens after that. That's the, that's the big the key for us. Now, hopefully my opponent thinks I'm not going to use these spread attacks this turn. And this, this gives us the open. It's all the mind game from here, really. Um, it's quite easy for them just to sit and think, well, I'm just going to click these moves again because if you like if you don't white guard I'll punish you and that's the that's the big thing double edge beautiful <sighs> what spot not some evil hopefully okay can take it come on some lad please take it oh oh <laughs> hanging on by the skin of his teeth wow okay right now we need this to do enough damage for the toxic to tick over and take it down that that is what we need come on Sogaleo do it do it for me man that's not I don't know I don't think it is gonna oh, shadow sneak will take it down there now shadow sneak will get it so we will shadow sneak and we will wide guard because I don't want the Kyogre getting a free kill on our Sogaleo hopefully shadow sneak is enough to get the Salamence you, you've got to imagine it is from this point. That Toxic's coming in handy. The Toxic would have been handy against the Kyogre for sure, but then uh, Kyogre cannot beat. Cannot beat Shininja. So once the Salamence is gone, it's gone. And it takes us, that will take us to 6-1. All going well, of course. It's not over yet. So there's the wide guard to block those those nasty spread attacks that we don't like. There's Shadow Sneak, Sneak, Sneak. Oh, Shininja, the boy. He is the MVP today. People are going to hate me for this, but uh, there's a Wonder Guard. Not going to do much, um, unfortunately. Uh, but, yep, yeah, now we can just Toxic the Kyogre and um, go for that. Uh, did we just Super Power? Super Power, man. Yeah, just get some damage onto the Kyogre. And there's the forfeit, so we do pick up the victory. Come on, Victorious. 6-1. 6-1, it's not happened before. We've never been this, this had these these good results before in the Roulette series, and it's great, because we're coming to a close of the series. Sitting at 6-1, we cannot finish negative now this week. We are gonna finish positive, and it will take us over 1,500 as well, which is like, it's all, everything all encapsulated into one. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. They were finally here, and I knew it would pay off eventually, and I, uh, I just wanna dedicate it all to you lovely people out there. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, but we are going to end it there, guys. We're going to wrap it up. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm seriously thinking we don't need bonus buttons. We might do it Friday. I'm not going to do it tomorrow. So we'll be back with more episodes tomorrow. There'll be more games tomorrow. So do stay tuned. See if we can continue this on. I mean, imagine if we could finish the week with, like, one loss all week. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? It would be insane if we can do that. Have a great rest of your day, though. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. I hope you have enjoyed it. And we'll see you for the next one, guys. So until then, take care and bye-bye.